Good Yonte Raboisai. Ah! The same shear that we had last night on. Well, it wasn't last night. Two nights ago. Shvuas, Lel Shvuas, one o'clock in the morning. It wasn't the seat we had in. We had probably over 100 people. People, Mamish Kiddush Hashem, people came from very far. People, there was an individual, I forgot his name, unfortunately. He was watching this year for a while. He lives in Gimel. He walked in last year on Shvuas and this year, but in between, he hasn't been here even once. So if you live in Gimel, come more often. If you live down the block, come more often. The, all the food that we had on Lel Shavuos was sponsored by Mordechai Sapaznik. Very generous donation of $1,000 towards the food. Lili Nishmas, Harav, Reb Zechariah Wallerstein, Reb Zechariah Shem Ben Reb Yitzchok HaKoyen, Zechot Tzadik Levrocho. Neshama should have an aliyah. We're going to jump right into it. It's late. I appreciate that the Olam is still here. It's 11.20 in Eretz Yisrael at night, right after the Shir on Daf Yud Aleph. We're just doing this for the Olam around the world who wasn't here on the live Shir on Shavuos, so we're recording it again. I don't have sponsors here. Huh? Oh, I do have. Okay. The Koilal, thank you. My name is from Lakewood. The Masech is sponsored by Moshe Banda to thank Hashem that I'm able to thank Him for everything that I have. And the art of the month for complete refuel for Chaim Tzvi Ben Leah. So here we are. Wow, close to two million of people. Very mechubedik. The Mishnah tells us. I hope I, I still remember the sugya because it's more than a day ago, and it's like the Mishnah tells us that there are three things that the get of a woman is similar to that of a get of an evid. When you free an Eved, you give him a get shikhur. There are three similarities. And the Gemara asks, but wait a minute. What about the fact that both a get of a, a woman and a get of us Eved have to be l'shma? On that, the Gemara answers, we're only talking about the Rabbanans. So the Gemara says, okay, if we're only talking about the Rabbanans, why is one of the three things the Dairaisa, Erkais? Yeah? If the get came out of an Erkais or the get of an of a Eved from Erkais. So, we said that um, we're talking about that the part of their kais is the rabbana. In other words, midar raisa were hold like Rebbe Lazar that ada mesira karti. You don't need any of the signatures at all. All you need is the adam that testify, they witness the actual get. And midar rabbana, if it was signed by non-Jews, then it becomes possible only with the Rabbana. It's not an Issa de Raisa, it's Issa de Rabbana. Why? Because the concern is that you might use those signatures that are in the get as the same witnesses that saw from, a, from the side, they saw the get happening. If you say, again, you don't need any signatures at all, it could be blank. But if you put signatures of non-Jews, the concern is that you might use those same people to be the witnesses of the get, and that's a problem. So we're holding over here on the bottom of Daf Tesom at Beis, five lines from the bottom, Okir Belazah, the Amar Edim Esir Karti. holds that it's the Edim that witness the get. They are those who create the Krisos, the actual get. They make it happen. Ask the Gemara, Vamed Diktoni Sefer, Rebbe Shimon Oimer, Af Eluk Sheirim. So we discussed this. You'll see, and that was tomorrow's daf, daf yud alef, the one we just had now. It says, the Rav Shimon says, even a get of a woman and the get of a, of a evid are kosher when you have these signatures. V'omer Reb and we had that today, but we're going backwards. V'omer Yora Reb Shimon, she touches Reb Lazar. The only way it works, says Reb is if you hold like Reb Lazar that ain't a Messiah character. In other words, he was mechadish, this big chiddush of Rebbe Lazar in the sheet of Rebbe Shimon. We didn't know about this Rebbe Lazar in the Tanakhama, like you're explaining. You're explaining that the Mishnah goes that according to Rebbe Lazar, the Edim is character. No, that, that came up later on Daphne Aleph. We didn't know about this yet. Now what about 
So let me just show you all the charts. We went, it was Los Shvurs, I was holding up charts like in the good old days. We have a Machloikis Remeir. Remeir says, Eidi Chasimi Karti. It's the signatures in the get that create the creases, they, they, they validate the, the Gerushin. You become divorced by the Edim in the get. Rebbe Lazar says, no, it's the Edim that witness it. So if it's the Edim that witness it, why does the Torah say, because of law, that you have to write? It seems like it's the, the signatures. No, so he's going to learn the Kosav means that the actual get must be written Lishma to the name of this woman. Says the Gemara. And Reb Lazar is the one that says Edim Sir Karti, and we explain that in Reb Shimon. Bechlau, the Tanakama Sovar, Loi. The Tanakama holds, like Reb Meir, that Edi Chasim Karti. Says the Gemara, Ike binayu sheimois muvakim. In other words, Daf Yud Omen Aleph. According to everybody, Edei Masiri Karti. It's the Edim that create the get by witnessing the get. Just what? So where's the Machlaikis over here? Machlaikis is what if you have a real non-Jewish name, and we went through what are the non-Jewish names that people came up with. Christian in English, Muhammad in Hebrew, in Eretz Yisrael, huh? Leroy. <laughs> Leroy. Archibald. Archibald. What is that? A South African name? It's an English name. Okay. <laughs> Givaldic. Abu Abu J. Who? Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna even try. <laughs> who? Ishkoyach, you came, you, you, you heard David Alam and you're throwing out the name. Hormuz and Horman. Ishkoyach, great. Okay, so, but I just mentioned all, all these mices and things that happened. I have to remember there was, a, there was a good one that happened afterwards. But in Eretz Yisrael, I noticed, even on Isha World News, sometimes it says there's a terrible accident on, you know, the throughway going up to the mountains. And then it says on the bottom, Chavar uh, Kedisha was not necessary. In other words, like, don't worry about it. It's not Meshulanu. But another way to do it is, sometimes in, in the Israeli newspapers, they write, Muhammad Abul Jabir, he got killed on a motorcycle accident. Da, 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 and then, that's another way. If you have a Shem Muvak, then the Oilam, they chap. Okay. So, Nachamal. If, but this is counterintuitive a little bit. If there's a really non-Jewish name, it says, on the get, it's signed by Muhammad. So now, this get is kosher or not kosher? It's kosher. It's counterintuitive. When you have really bad names, then it's really good. Why? Because nobody's going to use the really bad guy for Eid Masira. The whole concern is you might use him as an Eid. What well, says Muhammad? You're going to use Muhammad? Hey, where's Muhammad? Let me use him as an Eid Masira. No, you have that it's not good. But if it has, it's one of these half names, a Gary, Phil, so... I might use him, because I don't know, maybe he's Jewish. Yeah, he has a non-Jewish name, but maybe, maybe his parents called him by his bris, Gershon Gary. And then Mela, that's a problem. Those names are problematic. A really non-Jewish name is not problematic. You and you, Shirley. Yeah, what's her, what's her Jewish name? She has, her official name is Shirley? There's a little girl, she's like five years old. Shirley, okay. Ma, I don't know if that if there's any other Jew that okay fine. This whole idea that as we're gonna have tomorrow on tomorrow's daf yudalif that a husband when he sends a get with a shliach yilacha he could take it back why because it's a chayiv it's not good for the woman and if the shliach decides to be a shliach lekabala he wants to accept it. On behalf of the woman, he cannot. That's one of the nafkeminas that the Brayzer brings between a get and a, a, a get shichur, according to a mayor. And it's a deraisa. You just told me that we're only talking about the rabbanans. He says, "Okay, I'm going to take the holding back." We're only we're only talking about things that are not by kedushin. Something that's by kedushin, the halacha applies by kedushin, is not in the the three things. So, first of all, 
there's a there's a, a big connection between between kedushin and gerushin. That's the famous hekesh v'yatsam ebeisa v'halcha v'haisa. She left and she came in. So leaving a get and coming in, getting married, are very similar in a lot of different things. So now let me just show you real quickly what's going on here. Lishma. So the, the three things on the bottom is what the, 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 the mission says is the difference between a woman's get and a evet's get. Befane nechtav. When you give a get, isha, you have to say befane nechtav, befane nechtav. Not by a, by a evet. But this doesn't apply, says the Gemara, this doesn't apply. The reason why it's in the Mishnah is because it doesn't apply to Kiddushin. Yeah? Why? What's the whole point of saying Bifan and Nechtam, Bifan and Because I don't want the husband to be Ma'ara. I don't want the husband to, to talk bad about the get and say it's not a, it wasn't a real get. I had nothing to do with it, right? Fake news. Remember that guy that said fake news? You don't want the husband to do that. But in Kiddushin, we're not concerned. He wants to marry her. What, he's going to say, oh, it never happened? The other, the other difference we said is if the aid is a kusi. So we said that by a get of a woman, one aid could be a kusi. Why is that? Because somebody else signs together with him. Right? And then we had, here's the kusi. He signs over here. Right below him is a Jew. The Jew is testifying that the kusi above him is a good guy. He's a chaver. So that applies to... Get, it doesn't apply to Kiddushin. And again, the third thing that we said, the difference between a get of a woman and get of an Evid is, is their kais. So, the, the whole point is, by, by a, a get, as we just discussed before, we're concerned that you might use the Edim that are signed, use it for Edim Asira. But we don't have the concern by Kiddushin, and Mimela doesn't apply by Kiddushin. But Lishma. And mechuber, that a get has to be l'shma, is something that's by kedushin. Mechuber is something that's a problem by kedushin. Says the Gemara, "Misal is kedushin like Tani, ah, but Chazara Gufa is a kedushin." One of the four things, according to Rambam, there's four things that are similar between a get and a, is Chazara that the husband could could take it back after he gives it to the shliach. He take it back. Same thing when he sends a shliach to give a ring to a woman, if he wants, before he gets to the woman, he can take it back. Is he the Why? Why can he take it back, or boy's side? Why can a husband take it back? Isn't it a good thing for the woman to get engaged? So Rashi explains, yes, but there's also a bad thing about it. And, we, and once there's something bad, then we can't say it's good. What's bad about it? She can't marry anybody else. And also at the same time that she's engaged to this guy, she doesn't get any mezainas. She's not supported. So she's, she's hanging in, it's, it's one of these periods of time that's like, she's not married, she doesn't get support, and now she can't marry anybody else. So it's a little bit of a chai for her. Okay, huh? First year. For one year, exactly. Very good. Remember, that's the first Mishnah of? Ksubas. Says the Gemara. Well, there is, there is a case that it applies only to get and not to Kiddushin, and therefore it doesn't apply to Kiddushin, that's why it is in the Mishnah. And what is it? Mishlichus Balkarcha. I can force the get on the woman, I don't have to ask her permission. The Begerishin is still, but Kiddushin less, so I can't force a woman to, to, to get married to me, but I could force her to get a divorce. And Mela, it applies to a get and doesn't apply to Kiddushin. Says the Mishnah, the Heilige Mishnah, sponsored by Joel Friedman. We're going to call him Yol Friedman from now, right? What just happened to my thing, Gary? You playing around with my thing? I know. I was thinking about throwing him on the bus also. (laughs) What is Murad? Nobody even knows what Murad is. Call get. What happened to my computer, Gary? What, it flicked flicked for a second? I didn't pay. But my whole my whole computer is uh, is messed up. Okay. Says Joel Freeman. Lilishmas, you get get permission from him. We're gonna change his name. Lilishmas, my dear father. Chaim, his father has only Jewish names. A lot of them. Chaim, Avram, Sholem, Yeruchim, 
Ben Yisrael David Al Hashem. I can't get his full name. Joe's full name. No, thank you. One name. <laughs> Call get. Maybe his father had one non-Jewish name, and then we'll, we'll allow it. We'll switch one non-Jewish name before Jewish. Call get Sheyeshalav Eid Kusi Pasal. What does the word get mean over here? Rabbi say it means a star, any kind of document that has an eight kusi, one witness. That's a kusi. What's a kusi? Rabbi say these are people that Adi Yom said they live in Hargrizim, Shomronim, which, by the way, today they don't really apply, but just L'Saber said to make a today they're considered Oyvde Avedi Zara, regular Goyim, we call Davar, because once they started doing Avedi Zara, that's it. We're talking about in the time of the Gemara before, you know, a couple thousand years ago, Akusi still had some sort of Shaykh uh, Klai Yisrael. They accepted upon themselves. It's very interesting because tonight, right now, as we speak, is Shavuos night, and it has a lot of Shaykh to, to, to Shavuos because the whole thing are they real Gairim or not real Gairim is a sugi that we learned from Rus. The old Gairus. It was a question, are they Geri Emes or Geri Arias? Did they become Geri because of the fear of the lions or they become, or they're just uh, a regular Geri? But another thing is that on Shavuos night, Shavuos we accepted the Torah, but we accepted all the Torah and we believe 100% that Moshe Rabbeinu received the Gemara also. There's no Machlekism back then, but he received Torah Shabal Peh. He received all the uh, Halacha of Moshe Messinais. They don't believe in that. They, how they exactly wear square tefillin and black tefillin, how do they know all that? Maybe they don't. I don't know if they wear tefillin. I have to find out. But many, many of our halachas that we know from Gemara, that the Gemara learns psukim and drashas, they don't have any of that. So, called get, sheyeshalav eid kusi, you have a witness who's a kusi, is possible. Can't trust them, says Rashi. But if they signed on a get of a woman and that of an Eved, kosher. Now usually when, almost every time when the Mishnah brings a story, it's to support what we just said. What do we just say? That an eight Kusi is no good for a regular star, but he's good for a get. Gemara says, oh, there's a story where they brought such a, a, a get. It was a kusi that signed both of them. So the Gemara is going to tell us that either we can't be goris a dove, a day, it has to be a day, it's one, because he's coming to corroborate, he's coming to support, not to argue. And the, the Tanakhama talks about one aid, not two. So how does the story say that it was two aidim kusim and it was kosher? Or he's coming to argue. Says the Gemara, Mani Maslisin, Lo Yitana Kam, Avodoy Bir Loz, Avodoy Bishem Ben Gamliel. Our Mishnah cannot go according to any of these three. What's the story? The Sanya Matzas Kusi Muteres Vadam Yoytzeba Yidei Chavaser Be Pesach. So this was a big chiddush. Out of the hundred people that were here on Shavuos night, not very many knew this halacha. What's very very important for Matzah on Lel Pesach? It's very important. That the matzah should not be chametz. But there's something else that's very, very important. That you should do it lishma. In other words, lishma meaning that when you are careful that there's no chametz, what does lishma mean? That also people didn't know. Lishma doesn't mean that I'm doing it lishem matzah mitzvah, like we say, as much as it means that I'm doing it lishem shomayim, that there's no chametz in the matzah. I'm doing it, I'm having in mind. That it shouldn't be chametz because it's a mitzvah not to have chametz in the matzah. How do we know this? From this pasuk right over here. Ushmartem is a You have to be shomer. There's a mitzvah to be shomer the matzos. Now, the kusi. Here's the the, the kusi man. Here he is and hard him. He's holding a matzah in his hand. Is his matzah kosher or not kosher? Today we're makbed on the Badats and this and Sakihilois and Landau and, and the OU and not the Here I have Matzas Kusi. It's made by Mr. Kusi. Is it good or not? Tanakama says it's great. Why? Because they're makbed on the mitzvahs. 
And they even know about Ushmart Masa Matzah is the Makbir on the Shimur of the Matzah. Again, we're not talking about Kusim Bazman Azan. Kusim Bazman Azan is completely trick. Ribeleza says the exact opposite. He says, we can't trust them for anything. That's it. It's awesome. Shimon Gamaliel says, it depends. If it's a mitzvah that they're, they're careful with, then they're actually better than Jews at keeping it. They're more medactic than a Jew. He said, what's, what's a good marshal of that? Adayim Azah, the Kusim, the very Makbar Ayim Kippur, to the point where two-year-olds have to fast, one-year-old fast. Their babies fast and tire Yom Kippur. They could die and not die, they don't care. They're all fasting. Azay is. Shabbos, more Mahmed. There's no electric whatsoever. It's not like, oh, you can turn on the light before. Zero, no lights, no nothing. What else? Carbon Pesach, they do the carbon Pesach. Um, oh, they only eat pigeons. They don't eat chicken. Because of the Bisham Mikdash. Then I said yesterday, I said, uh, how do you know when about tshuva? Well, tshuvas always have like a chip on the shoulder. Are they part of, they make it into the mainstream community and not, and there was a Baal sitting here and he knew exactly what I was talking about. He said, how does a Baal know when he made it? When he's not makbid on tefillah, he, he talks in shul like everybody else. <laughs> then he knows, oh, oh I'm a real, I'm a, I'm a real Baal Tshuva. Okay. So says the Gemara inside. So our Mishnah doesn't go according to any three of these sheetas. Not the Tanakhama, not the Rebbe Lezah, not the Rebbe Gamliel. Why? Because our Mishnah says that a kusi is good for a get, but not good for a regular star. So what's going on over here? How does it fit in with this matzah business? It's great for Pesach. Because they're makbid on Lishma, they're makbid on Chomet. Great. Rebbe Lezah says, forget about it. They try maybe to eat the matzah. I bet you, if you went down there and watched their carbon Pesach, I bet you there's many halachas that they don't do according to what the Gemara tells us to do. They're not magbin on all the digdukim. Comes from Shimon Liel. Shimon Liel Oimer. Kol mitzvah shechziku bakusim. Har bemedaktin yuvah yoysim Yisrael. I used to read it. Kol mitzvah shechziku bakusim har be. Medaktin yuvah yoysim Yisrael. But my Gemara has the psik, and I saw the art school brings it like that also. And okay, some people said, oh, it's Pashat. But it wasn't so Pashat, and they called it to be my colleagues how to read it. Fine. Any mitzvah. And here's the Chiddush. So what is Rabbi Shimon Gamaliel saying different than Tanakama? Tanakama says that a matzah of a kusi is 100% mutter. Because Rabbi Shimon Gamaliel says the matzah of a kusi is mutter. So what's the difference between the two? Aren't they saying the same thing? No. Since Rashi is saying something different. Shimon Yunlil says that even in the midst of the Rabbanon, they're makbid more than, than Klai Yisrael. Because we, are, we know that Kusim only do their rices. The Chilish is that even in the Rabbanon, if there's the Rabbanon they're makbid on, they're, they're very makbid. Harim Adak, they're Yosem Yisrael. This is Gemara, our Mishnah, who does it go according to? Mani, eat Anakama. If it goes according to Anakama, it says that a matzah of a Kusi is kosher, lechat chila, afi the shash toris nami. So how come a Kusi is not good for all documents, like real estate documents. They should be good for that. Irib Lazar, who says, the mats of Akusi is puzzles, treif, afilu get isha, namiloi. So then why are they good to sign on a get? Virib Shim Gamliel. And if it's Rib Shim Gamliel, Ida Absolute, Afilu Star Stars, Nami, the Mimanashach. Do they keep it or they don't keep it? If they keep it, they should be good signees on all documents. Idaloi Achzok. And if they don't keep it, if they, in other words, they're not makbid on what? It's very interesting. Look what they're makbed on. We, had, we read this on Shavuos. In the Aser Sadibris. Loisano vereyacha eit shoker. Forget about that. It's the Torah. It's the Ten Commandments, so to speak, for them. The Aser Sadibris. The very makbed on Aser Sadibris, no? What does it say in Aser Sadibris? You're not allowed to testify falsely. So if you're not allowed to testify falsely, shouldn't we accept them as witnesses in all our documents? The Makbid on the Pasuk. And But what? They're Makbid on a get. They're very Makbid on Gitin. And they're very careless 
about real estate documents. Why do you say that if there's one witness in a get it's kosher, you're reading their matzah, no problem. You don't have your omash gich in there. You go into Kusi land, into Hargrizim, and you buy matzah from the Shomranim. Not today, 2,000 years ago. So then you should trust him 100% when it comes to a get. Two signatures, two signees that are kusim should also be good. So then why did Rebbe Lazar say not like that? Only one of them is good. Says the Gemara, Rebbe Lazar. Says the Gemara, we're talking about Rebbe Lazar, who says that what? Their matzah is treif. So then why do we trust the guy on a get? Turn the daf on the base. The lab, the kusi chaver ava. The machtem lemi kamei. What happened was as follows. Here it is. Here's your get. And the kusi signed over here on the top line. If not for the fact that he's a great guy, he's a chaver, he's makber on mitzvahs, the Jew would never sign his name after him. The Jew signing his name after him is testifying to the fact that he's a good guy, that we can trust him. So Tyson's asked the question, and it comes out that the Jew is actually testifying twice. He's testifying that the get is a good get, and he's also testifying that the kusi is a good kusi. So he, really, it's all dependent on one Jew. Where do you have two witnesses here? Okay. I just want to point out something fascinating, to me at least. You have a kusi who belongs to the kusi segment of society. But since he's a, he's makbed on mitzvahs, we accept him 100%. Not only that, go ahead, sign in front of me, hakol tov. Because even in our society today, if you're, if you're from the from segment that, that's XYZ, or from that segment, the other thing, and you're not from my Rebbe, from my Roshiva, then I don't even talk to you, I don't look at you. Over here you're talking about a whole segment of people. We don't like them that much. They don't keep any of the Rabbans. They don't believe in any of the Gemara. All they are, they're Tarish Bixaf people. Nevertheless, if I recognize that he's a good guy, come on in. It's a Pelican thing to me. Right? We have a lot of from people that do 100% all mitzvahs. Just, they don't do one or two things exactly like you and you, the Treif Chazim for you. You won't even look at them. Certainly won't marry into them, into the family, nothing like that. Here's a guy that doesn't do anything. But he, he's a chaver. Let me say he's a chaver, he does the right thing. And, and you see that he's within that community, he could be a chaver still. Oh, sponsored by, let's find it, by the Freeman family, for our sisters, both Nifter before their father, Nechamaleo Bas Pinchas Eliezer, Yibad Chaim, and Chana Etel Bas Yibad Chaim Pinchas Eliezer, Gimel Sivan and Chav Gimel Sivan. Wait a minute. If I have the Jewish signature below the kusi, isn't that good for every single document? What happened was that the Jew, he was being a nun of, Yosef Yechiel, whoever that is. I thought these are real people. Who's Yosef Yechiel? Tomer. Ah, it's Herman. Zuchil ben Dov Berry, he's my brother, and I don't even know his name. Brother for another mother. Huh? Yes, <laughs> Zuchil. What happened was he saw like a Rosh Hashiva, and he's like, you know what? I'm, it doesn't pass for me to sign first. Let me give the respect to the Rosh Hashiva. So he signed second, left this line empty. Comes the Kusi and jumps in there and he signs it. At the end, he said, Yama, you know, forget the Rashiva that didn't want to do it. You Kusi, come here, sign. So the fact that the Jew signed after the Kusi is not a raya. Maybe the Jew left him an empty space. Says the Gemara, okay. So then by get say the same thing. Why is that a good raya? Why from the fact that the Jew signed after the Kusi, you tell me it's a perfect raya. It doesn't work by real estate, but it works by get. Why? What's enough Gemina? Oh, this is the Gemara. No, get is different than everything. Because when it comes to get, those who are going to sign are going to be standing right there. And you can know exactly who's signing. 
There's no, oh, I'm going to take this guy instead of this guy. Get is different than every other document. Every other document I could sign and then you go search for another guy to sign and you find somebody else and I don't have to be there. If I get, I have to be there. And I'm not going to sign my name on something or somebody, I don't know who, who it is. My time. Why is get different? Why do they all have to be right there in the front? Omar Avashik, Zaira, Mishum Kulchem. There's, a, there's a, a story where a husband says, he looks at the whole room. All of you, give this get to my wife. So what do we have to do? One guy writes it, everybody has to sign it. What's the problem? One guy, is not, he doesn't want to sign it. He's going to wait now for 20 people to sign their name. So he slips out and he runs away. The get is puzzle. Because the, hu- the husband made a condition, all 20 of you have to sign it. And only 19 sign. So it's puzzle. Goes the wife, she takes the get, and she gets married to somebody. What is that? It's ish. So we made a xero, that any time that it, there's a get, all the witnesses have to be standing right there. Nobody can leave. Everybody has to be, watch all the signatures. That's only by get, but not by other documents. Gufa, Omer, Belazar, Lichshir, Boy, Elo, Eid, Echad, Kusi, Bovad. Rebelazar repeats and says, only one aid is enough. Michael Mashalon, what's this chiddush? It says that we're, we're talking about one. So why did Rebelazar have to add that sentence? I would think from the Mishnah that two kusim are good enough. So then why did the Mishnah say one? The Mishnah wanted to tell us the, the flip side. The chumrah of one. I think that the only reason why it says in the Mishnah 1 is to tell you that any other document, one is not good. But in a, in a get, two are good. The Mishnah spoke about one just to tell you about the rest of the stars. But you should know, says the Gemara, that perhaps two are good by a get. No. Only one is good by a get. That's why Rebbe repeated it. That by get also, one is good. And by Shar stars, one is not good. But we're not talking about two. Ask the Gemara, oh, Trey Loy, what are you telling me? Two, two kusim are not good? Why not? Waktani, Maizavivu, in our mission, there was a story, and it says there was two kusim, and it was good. Get the Isha, boy, elevate the kusim, virgin. He says, okay. You're right. So in our mission, you have to fix it a little bit. It's not talking about the story didn't have two kusim in it, the story is only one. Rava, my loyalum, Trey. A lot of times, I don't know, I have to go back and ask the guys in the coil. Many times I, I, I feel, I don't know if this is true at all, I'm just throwing this out there now, I feel like Abaya changes the girsa and Rava says, no, let's not change the girsa. let's try to fix it as is. Rava, my loyal and Trey, there's two. The story happened with, with, two, with two kusim. The, the story is not to corroborate, but it's to argue. But usually story corroborates. No, but if you add a, a few words, but you don't really add them. You pretend to add them. Everything makes sense. Comes to Ringulil says, you should know that two kusim are good in a get. And I'll prove to you. So, if two aid them, let me ask you a question. Let's see if anybody has an answer. Even those who are here on Shuas night, they're allowed to answer. If two Edim, Kusim, are kosher in a get, how come two Edim, Kusim, are not kosher in a real estate document? No, not the answer. The answer is because <laughs> Because this Taisvis Tais says, because it happens to be, we're going back to that other, the, the, the Gemara's Havamina kind of, that they kept, they were very Makbid on a get, but they weren't Makbid on other real estate. Says the Mishnah, sponsored by Joel Freeman, my dear father, Chaim Avram Shalom Yeruchim, Yisrael David Alav Shalom. Kol Ashtore, Soilim Berkois, it's interesting. We, did, we just did this whole sugya. So it's Chazara, the Chazara, the Chazara. All documents that were produced in a court system. I'll tell you right now. I just remembered. I said this once before. I once did a deal. 
where it was six properties and I did a crazy thing that to save taxes, the whole thing. So I bought the properties and simultaneously I sold them off and kept some for myself. It was a whole thing. So what ended up happening is I had to sign all these documents and sign them again. So I sat for hours, literally. The, the documents, I can't even, two lawyers put a uh, sign, sign, from the right and from the left. I just signed, so my hand was falling off. Sign, 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 sign. No, 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 no. The worst I ever had. Never had anything even close to that. I still own some of those properties today, and that was 20 years ago. More than 20 years. Yeah, no. 2005, less than 20 years. Yeah, that's the a get that happens in a non Jewish court is possible. Now, the Amaisa Shahoya, I don't remember where and how, but a guy once said, It's not fair. You guys are racist. You Jews are racist. How come? We can't be signees on your documents. Isn't that racist? You say that we're racist. You're also racist. So whoever was answered him, he said, do you agree that if we have a, a minion of Jews and we have nine and we're missing one and you show up in the shul, do you agree that you shouldn't be part of it? He said, yeah. Why? Because that's a religious thing. He says, oh, so I want you to know that signing a document is a religious thing by Jews and that's why you're not, you're not a part of our religion, you can't be part of this. It's a religious thing. And then I said, but Lemaisa, at the end of the day, Rashi says that the, the bigger problem is that they're liars. They're going to lie. If they're not worried of the court system, then it's a Shiloh of Nemanos. Not so much a Shiloh of, maybe it was just being doich and bekash. But that's the, the what's brought out in Narasugi is, a, is the, the, the Meshachar. Even a get Isha and a get Eved is kosher in the non Jewish court. So the simple pshat is this that we said that a get is possible is only when it's done in a place where there's no judges. Because the judge has a reputation to keep. But we're going to see in the Gemara there's another pshat. Is going back to the beginning of the Mishnah, and that we had on that Aleph. Says the Gemara, so there's two types of documents. There's a star that proves that you bought something. How did you buy it? You bought it with money, but you you produce a document to prove that you're you're the owner. How do you buy a car? You buy a car with cash, and then they give you some sort of document that you register your name on it. It says, "Oh, the car is owned by you." But there's another type of document that the document creates the sale. Let's say a star kedushin. You make a woman with a star. You could also buy a piece of property by signing a document. It becomes yours through the the, the signature. It says the Gemara, when the mission starts off, all documents that come out of a non-Jewish court are kosher. It seems to mean all. All documents, whether it's a, a document of proof or it's a document that creates the sale. That also is a good star. I understand if you if they paid cash, so the cash created the sale and Ushtaro And the star is only there as proof. So okay, so a non-Jew signed it. So he's just saying I I, I witnessed it. It's like a video camera. Video camera is kosher for proof, in a way. The judge wouldn't put his line, his name on the line, his reputation on the line, if it wasn't true. Because when they started, and they wrote him a document. But every document that's there to create a sale, to create something, but Mike Kikani, how could it work if non-kosher people Sign their name. La Bahishtara. Bahishtara Chasba Baamu is just a piece of toilet paper. It's nothing. It doesn't do anything. 
Omar Shmuel, everybody loves this line. Dina de Malchusa, Dina. <clears throat> the rule of the land remains the rule. You live in a country, you have to abide by the rules. They made a rule that these people that sign on it create a sale. So they created a sale. So we got to talk a little bit about Dina de Malchusa, Dina. I'm not passing any halachas. I'm just throwing things out there, mostly to aggravate people. And you do whatever you want to do with it. Taxes. Dino de Malchuso. So the Shulchan Aruch Paskins that it's also to evade taxes because I'm talking about now in Chutzlar, it's in America, in England, the, the government decided that you have to pay a certain amount of taxes. Thank you. So you, gotta, you, you have to follow the rules. You live in that country, you have to follow the rules. The Ramah and the Vilna Gain say, and I have to, before I say this, everybody agrees that you're not allowed to lie on your tax return. You cannot put anything false in your tax return. That everybody agrees. Everybody agrees that you're not allowed to create a Chil Hashem. That's the worst of the worst of the worst. Worse than still, create a Chil Hashem. The Machlaiz between the Gain, the Ramah, and the Vilna Gain, and the Shulchan Aruch is in a situation where you don't have to lie in your tax return, and you are 100% certain it's not going to create a Chil Hashem, do you have to admit certain things? Again, I'm not passing it, I'm just throwing this out to do whatever you want to do with it. The what? According to the villain guy, and nobody goes by the villain guy besides me, so only I have a right to go with the villain guy in this. But he says that there's something called Hafqa Salva, and that is if it's an uh, idol worshiper, okay, idol worshiper, you owe money to, to that person, and he forgets about it, you're not going to pay back. So over here, it's no different. The, the United States government, if he doesn't know about it, it's like Hafqa Salva. It's like a chayv that you owe the government. He doesn't know about it, so I'm not, not, I'm not paying it. That's what they say. Now, in terms of Eretz Yisrael, go ask your local rabbi. Some people say that Jews were never allowed to take taxes from other Jews in Eretz Yisrael. Why? Because Eretz Yisrael is owned by everybody, and nobody has the right to impose uh, taxes on anybody else. Some, some people hold like that. Some people hold that if they're... They're anti-religion, then it's even worse. Because they're Ayn Sham, do whatever you want with that. What? Stop paying your <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so uh, you put yourself in a master's account, it's another thing. Now, the very interesting thing happened yesterday that um, I, was t- I brought the uh, Ravazner. Ravazner says, what about speeding? The, the government says you can only go 65 miles an hour and you're going 75 miles an hour. Is there a dina the machus dina on speeding? So he says, first of all, even if there were no rules and, 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 and penalties for people that speed, us as Jews, we have to make our own, we have to impose our own restrictions on driving because driving creates death. There's a lot of death caused by driving. And as a society, you have to impose rules and regulations on how to drive. So we shouldn't be breaking these things anyways. Forget about Dina the Dina, you to, to drive safely, etc. Then he says, very interesting. He says that it would be a hundred percent usher to go through a red light, even if you look both ways and there are no cars. Because a lot of people in New York, especially, they look, uh, the red light is a suggestion. It's not a rule. It's the okay. Whatever. So you look both ways. So he says that would be usher. Why? Because it's there to save lives. And he said, what? Hold on a second. What? The Maizah Shaya? Yeah. No, I'm saying a police officer who does that. Oh. Yeah, okay. But they, they put their lights on. Yeah. Okay. In, in New York. Wow. In New York, they used to go through all the, the police officers. Go through red lights. I mean, with not being on call. Just because they feel like it. Yeah. Are they young? Yeah, in New York, uh, when I was a kid, that, that was normal. Fine. But he says that going through a red light, even if you think it's safe to go through, it's still 
a very dangerous thing to do, and you create, you're teaching yourself to do dangerous things, you're teaching other people to do it, you're promoting danger, and it's usher. Says a guy that was sitting here, and I didn't see this, he says two weeks ago in Bar Park, 52 people went through red lights on Erev Shabbos, and one person got killed. Maisa Shahaya. Then I spoke to people and said, yeah, but you didn't hear about it? It was partial. Yeah. So, Mamish, what are you saying? You're saying, you think that it's safe, but Lamaise, if you do it over and over, other people are doing it, and it becomes normal society. It's Erev Shabbos, I'm in a big rush, I have to get home. No. Vaif and Koi Vekoi, and here you go. But Lamaise, somebody got killed. Somebody lost his life because of it. So he's saying it's not Dafka Dino Machusadino as much as you have to use common sense and be careful with this thing. That was Ravazna. If Shimon Oimer, oh, Yiboy Seima, thank you. Yiboy Seima, Tni Chutz Mikigiti Nashim. What you have to say is not Chutz Meget Nashim, but Kiget Nashim. Anything that's similar to Get, meaning even this Matana, this Shtar Matana that we're talking about that creates a Chalois, wouldn't work. You're right. You asked the question. How could a Oivet Kachavim, a non Jew, create a Chalois? That's the word. A chalois mechira. How could he create a sale? He's not in the parasha. Oh, here we go. Yeshiva World News General. Okay, you just got it on my screen from Yose. So you'll put it up, Beis Hashem, if you have extra time at the four thirty in the morning. So <clears throat> the answer is that I don't understand why you're sitting here. You should have been editing already the first year, and then we'd send it to you. No. Are you serious? Huh. I got it, I got it. Oh, no, no, we're done, we're done, we're done. So, um, fine, we don't have to do Rav Shimon Oimer because we, we, we started the uh, shir from there today. So, Rav Oisai, have a wonderful yontif, have a great day. Yishkoyach, everybody, for joining. Very much appreciated. Aguta vach.